ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's Rackers here, and this is episode 11 of my Grimsby Town career mode. Hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you are all well. We, in this episode, we've got a Maxfield Town game, sorry, Mansfield Town game, Yeovil Town, and then into the transfer window, we've got Cambridge United to finish off this episode. Thank you so much for the votes on episode 9. It means that I now know that you want me to loan sign both Rivas and Comley. Obviously, seeing as we're going into the transfer window, what position do you think I need to strengthen? So the vote for this episode will be striker, midfield, defence and goalkeeper. So there are the four options you've got. If you've got any specifics, leave them in the comments below. Okay, so as we're going into the Mansfield Town game, this is going to be the lineup. But look at the levels of fitness of our substitutes and reserves. With a game against Yeovil just around the corner, I'm going to try and rest them as much as possible. Yeah, no one making the run. Mills is still here though. Oh, check. Tries to find it through penalty. That was I was impeding. Tooten's feet. Tooten's penalty free kick. What? We didn't get a free kick for that! Work it. Berre again. Right, McAllister Berry. Oh, Benning. Good, strong tackle. That's a penalty. That's a bad foul. That is straight through the back of Mills. I half thought it was going to be a penalty. Andrew brings it down under pressure. Berre gets out of his feet. Long shot. Never really got off the ground. Not the most exciting of first halves. <laughs> How can you how can you hype up a first half when it's only one shot each and my shot was about 20 yards? Tuton. Chambers, edge of the area, strikes it good, save Moyano. Ooh, what a name! And that's a yellow card for who? Andrew. Four. And Castle finds it into Summerfield. Just come on for Berry. Long shot. <sighs> What a way to make a name for yourself off the bench, nearly Summerfield. He's got the same hairline as me. Lovely reverse turn. Just cut across it. Not a bad effort, though. Ball gets whipped in. Pearson's under it. Back out, Hemmings now. Whips it in. No, Henderson, no danger. Just wide. Again, Tooten, edge of the area. Who's that on the overlap there? McAllister. McAllister into the area. Strikes it off across Miano. Collins! We're putting, we're turning the screw. Good. To, oh, come on. Two minutes to go, boys. Cuts it in. Tooten plays it again. Jackson first time shot. Oi, Hunter with another great save. Vose takes the short corner. Whips it in. Tooten with the head of Moyano gets it again. Oh, and is that it? That's it. Full time. We threw everything at them in the second half. Yep, yeah, we threw absolutely anything, everything at them. They only had and one more single shot, and that was the Henderson shot that went wide. We had nine shots and six on target in the second half, and we couldn't break down the wall that was Mayano. Let's see if he actually got man of the match. You no, know, Tutan got man of the match with an eight. Mayano got a 7.4. Second game of the episode right now, and I'm sorry there's not much going on in between games. I will give you some more in the Chinese transfer window, but at the minute, the game's coming that thick and fast, there's just nothing else happening. Uh, so we've got Vernon and Luckman up top, our TS Flores, Comley, Vos across the middle, Herrera, Boyce, Pearson and Davies across the back with Smiths and goal. Pearson has impressed me in the last couple of games, so I've decided to give him another chance with the first team to see how he does. Oh, that's a bad ball from Herrera, straight into right, Butcher's feet. McLeod. Or oh, McLeod, I can't pronounce him. Is, is, is that Isaiah McLeod? I'm going to call him McLeod. He has loses out to Dawson. Oh, McLeod now. Strikes it just into the side netting. Comley. Flores on the run. Flores straight it. Krusiak? Is that how you pronounce that name? Flores nicks it. Vernon. Luckman, can he get there in front of the keeper? No, he can't. Krusiak gets there. McLeod with a great ball out to Zoko. Is his first touch going to be better than last time? Yep, it is. It infinitely is. Whips the ball in. Butcher makes a hash of it. Well, at half time, we've been efficient with our shots. Two shots and two on target, but they have not hit the target yet at all. But that's worrying signs that we've given up seven shots. Lutman. RTS make the run. Or Comley left peg it. Yes! Comley! Running into the net, but we get the goal. So that's three shots and three on target for us so far. That was patience. That pass actually didn't mean to go to Comley because I wanted Artiez on the fast o full overlap here. Lutman should have played it into Artiez. Didn't catch it. Luckily, Comley was there. 
And I don't get, I don't really get what the keeper was trying there. I mean, he goes, I flap at it, I can't get it. No, you're not, sunshine. What a Nilgrim's voice. Kruciak with a good punch away. Davis has ran all the way across to get that. Can he whip it in back post? He can. Shepard again, good defending. Kruciak with the punch. And we've apparently fouled the keeper. Vernon. Look, oh, Rivas now. Ed, you need work on your shooting, Rivas. You really do. Looking for Tootin. First time shot, Tootin. No, Tootin. Toots. Shoots. He went with his left foot and... Oh, that's not far wide. And on the grand scheme of things, we definitely deserved it. Seven shots with five on target. They were just they had seven shots in the first half, so we limited them to two shots in the second half, which was brilliant. Who was our man of the match? Luckman with an 8.5. Okay, seniors, we have gone into the 1st of January. We have got Josh Vini, Max Wright, Reese Brown, Tom Bollerinwe, all returning from loan, and also we've been announced that Carlos Rivas has gone back, but seeing as you in the comments wanted him to come back, we are going to offer him a one-year loan and submit that offer. Third and final game of the episode now, we're at home against Cambridge United. We've got Jackson and Tutan up front. Because Rivas has gone back on loan, we are going to have to start Tom Bollerinwe, which is going to just ruin me, so I'm just going to call him TB. Um, for this purposes and then we've got Summerfield, McAllister and Chambers of the rest of the midfield, Andrew Gowling, Jones Mills across the back, Smith's in goal, Smith's is now a 70 rated goalkeeper, I think that in this transfer window we're going to struggle to keep hold of him, I don't know what McAllister was thinking there, Dunk, good tackle from Mills but he's still in the area, Keane, Taylor, bit of pinball, Gowling get it clear, good ball in now Summerfield, whip ball in, not he gets it. Andrew scuffs it. It's up in the air. Is the keeper going to get there? He punches it clear again. When are we going to get a scrappy goal? Oh, Chain got Taylor got lucky. Chambers going to be able to hold him off. He does. Just keep pushing him off if you can. Chambers brings it back. Summerfield. Oh my God. Brilliant strength from Chambers. Oh my, what a finish from Summerfield. Oh, this is special. Great run from Chambers. Cuts it back. Left footed. Keeper didn't stand a chance. What a finish. Wow. Oh no. Andrews let um, Halliday slip past him. They're going to try and Williamson. <laughs> Couldn't get me words out quick enough. He messed it up. <laughs> Summerfield loses it to Berry on the edge of the area. Is he going to shoot? He is and he's wide. Berry. Oh, that was never meant to go towards him. Look at TB down here, Berry. You know what? Summerfield, I wasn't going to keep him. I'm now going to sell Berry and keep Summerfield. Well, I'm going to put him on transfer list anyway. Mills, the right back, in an ounce of space, and he drags it. That's why he's a right back, but I had to take the opportunity. He got there, he got in the space. Bad shot, though. Yes! We managed to eke it out. Yes, yes, yes! It's so nice to win a game. And on that, the goal was the only shot on target in the entire game. Pretty bad game, but I think it's just after all the Christmas fixtures that everyone's feeling the tiredness. The fatigue setting in, the stomach is just full. Like man of the match, it's Chambers, and he played well. We've got a transfer offer for Marvin One. Smith, 1.2 million. Two transfer offers for Marvin Smith. You know what? If they can give me six mil, you know what? If they can give me seven million for Smith, I'll let him have him because he'll give me enough room in my budget to do something. Right, I said it. I had I had Summerfield transfer listed. I'm going to remove him from the transfer list. Putting Berry on the transfer list. I'm also going to be sending Arvid Eriksson to his home nation of Norway to find us a physically strong player. Hopefully he can find us some centre-backs or a right-back, maybe? Cathal Kelly is going to be going to Republic of Ireland to find us a playmaker. 
And here we are, rounding off the episode, as always, with a look at the league table. We are now back in fifth position in the playoff places, which is where we want to be. Three points off Carlisle United at the top of the table. And Hartlepool are still rock damn bottom. So we've had a decent episode in terms of points haul, so it's been pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will go through a squad report at the end of the transfer window. So if any of you are waiting for that, it will be at the end of the January transfer window where I can show you everything that's gone on. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. There's a little bell next to it. Click that and you'll get notified every time a video of mine gets uploaded. I've been Rackers, and I'll see you on the next one. Try.